Hey everybody, Anne here, sitting on my porch this morning, having my coffee with all of you. I finally got the porch cleaned up, moved some wood and some other things to the shed, protected them very well so they wouldn't suffer, you know, moisture damage. Um, it stays pretty dry inside that shed, so that's a good thing. Anyway, the weather's been weird. It's been raining since the middle of the night, and it was raining all morning, and now the sun is coming out. So I got a few things done. I'm going to show them to you. I took the air conditioner out of the window, put it back in the box, put the box in a big garbage bag, and put it up on something in the shed to store it over winter, and I've installed the wood-burning stove. Yeah, there's a little smiley face thing. It's still hanging in there. I got to clean this floor up there. I've just been tracking stuff in and the puppies and blah, blah, blah. Um, anyhow, so I have installed it kind of the same but a little bit differently. Um, I've got it quite a bit further away from the wall and I've just put that down. I'm not putting the welder's blanket behind it because I really didn't even need it last year against the wall. Um, you may be asking why all this tape. Well, um, I think I told you last year that these guide gear stove pipes are a weird size. They're a little bit bigger than a three inch but not big enough to fit a four inch. Um, so this is a three inch elbow pipe and this is a three inch um, double walled pipe. Now this pipe is new. I bought it because I wanted to put more of this, you know, more of the pipe inside. So there's this one, I think it's like 12 inches maybe, and then there's the other 3 inch um, pipe that I had last year that just, that's all I used through the wall. So I think that this is going to work much better. So I use the tape because, oh come on, <laughs> that's Sunny, we'll go see Sunny in a bit. Um, this elbow pipe is just slightly smaller and I had to fit it down inside of here. Um, so I just kind of filled the gaps, very tiny gaps, um, with this tape, and same with this one, um, actually there wasn't too much of a gap there, but I just put it there anyhow, and then this, um, this is actually a four inch wall thimble, and it's got a three inch pipe, so I just figured, um, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and use a three inch pipe with the four inch wall thimble and so there's a very tiny gap here and um, so I sent it through here and sealed the gaps and also it's kinda hard to see but I used some of my some of the wall paneling that I had left I was gonna use it all on the roof but um, I mean the ceiling but there wasn't enough of it left so I'm just you know cutting it up and using different pieces of it Um. This is not perfect, you know, I should have had it so that was on the bottom, but it's still okay. Uh, this fits in pretty well. It would have been nicer if I would have built some kind of a frame and brought it flush to the window out here, but um, this works okay. This could have been cut a little bit smaller and I may go back and do that eventually, but for now it's fine. Um, I just need a little bit of weather stripping up here and I have already put some over here. It fits pretty flush over here. Um, but I figured, you know, I'm going to use this, this, instead of just having that other janky looking board, the other board is on the inside that I used last year, um, and I have just nailed this to it, and then, well, I'll show you what I got on the outside. And I've got another piece of that, uh, paneling on the outside. It is not nailed permanently to that board, because I'm not sure if this is going to work very well. Um, but it fits right in there. Um, I may need to secure it with some little boards here and there. Um, but you can see that the other three inch pipe is coming through here. Yes, and this is a little bit too big, but that's okay. It's for, um, you know, if I were to put it through the wall. So it's a little bit thicker than it needs to be. But I cleaned all of the pipe out nice and clean and it is reinstalled and it looks a tiny bit better um, from the outside so and I technically could tape around here because I didn't cut the hole very well yeah I didn't do that great of a job but I did it nevertheless um, I could tape around this but I'm not going to because I want to see if there's smoke coming out here I don't think there's gonna be because 
Um, last year, I think I actually had this turned the wrong way, and that may be why I was getting smoke up the board. Um, but it is, oh, oh, I got a puppy. Oh my goodness, Junior. You're not supposed to be back here. Um, I've got it installed, so that's great. It's ready to go. It's not cold enough to burn a fire yet, but um, yeah, so I think this is going to work great. I did get the junk cleaned out from underneath of here, um, and I just put a tarp on top because there's some stuff I need to do some stuff with there, but uh, yeah, so <laughs> the puppies can still go underneath of there if they want to, but hopefully they won't get into the chicken yard because I took some chicken wire and lined the fence all the way over to basically here. I've got a little bit more chicken wire left, so I need to take it all the way over here so the puppies won't, you know, get over here and um, try and get into the rooster yard. And, oh, those are chia, chia plants. I'm letting them grow. Um, those are my pepper plants there more chia plants. Pepper pant plants. I'm just letting them grow until they die, basically. And I've got more chicken wire over here. It's not even secured to the fence yet. Um, I may do that at some point. But it goes all the way over here. <laughs> and all the way over there. Look at that pretty, pretty limb. It's been raining and it kind of blooms when it rains. Um, and last night, it was kind of late, so I just kind of did this. Uh, they're getting out underneath of there, so I need to fix this so that it'll just be attached to the pallet gate and the puppies can't get out from underneath. But for now, I had to form some kind of blockade. Where's your brother? Look at They are both so inquisitive. This one just wants to get out. Just want Uh-oh. I need some skinnier chicken wire over that. No, puppy. No, no, no. Come on. Don't do that. Look at that face. It's impossible to be mad at that face. Or that face. Aw, there's Sonny. Sonny's taking a little nap at poo. Here, go take a nap with your brother. <laughs> so cute. Okay, this is so crazy. It's October, and I'm still getting strawberries. <laughs> that is so funny. But, yeah, lemon balm is going crazy. Um, the passion fruit vine that I had transplanted this year is spreading all over the place. So is the, the stuff that I planted somewhere else. So hopefully next year I'll have some fruits. Would you look at this green bean plant? It still gives me a few green beans a day. I mean, it's enough to put in a soup or a stew or something. So I'm just going to leave this here and let it keep giving me green beans until it will give me no more green beans. You know what would be really cool is if I could get just one more eggplant. The blooms keep coming, but they keep falling off. So, I don't know. I think it's going to, we're going to have a drop in temperature before too long, so those blooms will probably all drop off, but still it would be great if I could get one more. Look at this beautiful beauty berry plant. Look at all those berries. I don't know if it's enough for me to do anything with, but I've tasted them and they're sweet, they're delicious. Um, so I don't know if the berries drop, if they'll grow more uh, beauty berry plants in their place, but this is just doing really, really well, and it's beautiful. I love the look of those beauty berries. I'm going to taste one right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to taste one. Taste two. Whoops. Mm, soft. Mm-hmm. They're good. And my lilies are still blooming. Unbelievably so. And see those little things? Those little, they, they drop off. Are those actually seeds? If those go into the ground, will they grow a new... Lily plant? I've always wondered about that. I need to look it up. It's supposed to rain off and on all day, so I think I'm just going to work on puppy proofing the rest of this yard so I don't have to worry about the puppies getting out and um, getting rid of some more trash. I've got the back of my truck, the truck bed loaded up. I need to make a trip to the dump. I need to see if they're open today. 
and um, you know get rid of all that I've got so much I need to haul off so I don't know we'll see what I get done in tomorrow's video anyway that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.